Loss is losing something that is of significance to us. For most of us, our greatest loss will be the death of a loved one. And we will mourn that loss most of all. Dono lost his mother recently. As she was dying, he was able to be with her, hold her hand and say goodbye. He told her that she'd been an amazing mom and had touched many people's lives. Grief is like a roller coaster. It turns your world upside down. It affects all aspects of your life and involves mental, physical, emotional and spiritual suffering resulting from loss. It is not an illness or something to be fixed, but rather a natural process of reaction and adjustment to loss and change. This adjustment involves moving back and forth between loss coping, focusing on who we have lost, and restoration coping, adjusting to life without them. It is normal to experience a range of feelings when we are grieving. Some, like sadness and loneliness, might be expected, but others, like anger, rage and guilt, may be more difficult to accept. The aim of our grieving is to help us adjust to changes in our lives. It is not to forget about who or what we have lost, but to learn to live with those losses in our lives. It's natural to have an uneven journey with grief. Grief comes and goes like waves. There are going to be peaks and troughs and they don't always happen in predictable ways. Some months after his mum's death, Donal hears a song his mum loved and is overcome with a wave of grief. He hangs in there and gradually the pain subsides. Remember that during loss coping, we need to be able to focus on loss and whatever feelings we experience around it, including sadness, guilt, anger, etc. But we also need to spend time on restoration coping, adjusting to life without the person who has died. Where people run into difficulties or where grief gets complicated or is stuck is when the process of moving between these two types of coping breaks down. People can get stuck on either loss coping or restoration coping. If someone gets stuck on loss coping, all they can do is think about the loss and the person who has died. They can find it difficult to get on with other things they need to do in their life. But equally difficult is where people get stuck on restoration coping and think, this has happened, I have to cut that person out of my life and forget about them, sell the house, clear out all the clothes, get rid of everything. Good bereavement care involves enabling the movement between loss coping and restoration coping. People need to do both to grieve well. 